Now let's go through each of the more popular and widely used Office programs and see about some of the differences in those. Here we're starting off in Microsoft Word. And I'd like to draw your attention to the bottom of the screen. As it always has, Word tells you the number of pages in your document, although here it seems to explain it a little more clearly as opposed to older versions of Office that just would have said in this case 1 slash 4. Nice little feature here is that you can see that word count is right here visible all the time. You don't have to select your text then go up to the toolbar and find word count in there. So see as you add words your word count increases, which is an extremely, extremely useful thing to have. Now, if you need more information, you can double click on that and see your word count dialog box opens up. So you can see the number of characters and paragraph lines and so forth. Here is your proofing errors icon. And if you click on it, you can see it thinks this is an error. It wants it lowercase, so we're going to ignore it. And if you click on it again, it's going to continue to go forth and let you know, hey, there's errors in here, or perceived errors. As long as you see that little X in there, that's going to be the case. And if you just keep going through, and as you can see, when you go through and deal with everything it perceives as an error, the X goes away and you get a little check mark instead. Now I'm going to hit Control Home, put us back to the top of our document, and we're going to look way over here to the right of the bottom bar. And here you have your layout buttons, a quick, easy, convenient way you can change the way you view your document. Here is a neat little convenient feature, the zoom level. You can zoom out or zoom in whatever works for you. You can click and drag the slider or you can use the little plus or minus signs to get it just the right size for you.